Hello, hello. It is Wednesday night and I am Tamara with Our Big Oily Family. And tonight we're talking about Kumquat, which is one of the oils in the um, Citrus Trio, Mother's Day Citrus Trio. Um, so it came with Kumquat, Sunny Citrus, and Red Mandarin were the oils that came in with it. I just realized that my speakers were down. So um, hopefully you can hear me now. Sorry about that. So tonight we're talking about kumquat essential oil. Um, as usual, I like to start from reading from the Emotions and Essential Oil book. This is an awesome reference book if you don't have this. Uh, the one with the yellow cover like this is the latest version. It's the 2017 sixth edition. So it has the um, oils that are all new. So it has all those oils. So kumquat oil is the oil of authentic presence. So kumquats are unique in the citrus family with the sweetest part of the fruit contained on the outside in the peel. The complexity of complementary flavors lies within. As such, kumquat oil addresses, thanks mom, preoccupation with a cheerful external disposition that masks anxiousness, self-doubt, pain, and unease hidden within. So individuals in need of kumquat oil tend to judge and push down feelings deemed as unacceptable or unwanted. Often they have been taught to repress feelings in order to be accepted. These personalities appear happy, enthusiastic, popular, and seemingly at peace in the world while their inner torment is meticulously guarded and hidden from view. However, this denial, avoidance of emotional pain, and fear of negative emotions can lead to, de to destructive coping strategies and passive aggressiveness in order to continue keeping up the chosen facade. So kumquat oil instructs that true happiness comes only through real, honest, and unstudied living. It reminds that people are a complement of good and bad, sweet and sour. It, uh, individuals must embrace their multifaceted humanness and anchor their identity in the truth in order to live authentically. Kumquat essential oil invites all to shift their focus away from outward behaviors or pretenses, which others may validate, and instead begin the quiet, consistent, and unseen journey to inner alignment, contentment, and healing. So the negative emotions addressed then would be superficial, facade of cheerfulness, hiding inauthentic, repressed feelings, passive aggressions, and the positive properties that Kumquat can help bring about would be unstudied, authentic, real, honest, sincere, unpretentious, and aligned. Then there are companion oils, and the companion oils are essential oils, if you didn't have Kumquat, that you could use for this same purpose. And those would be black pepper, coriander, and lavender. Okay, I do not have a graphic because this is kind of a limited time um, oil blend. It doesn't, it's not sold individually. It does come in the, uh, what is it? The Mother's Day Citrus Trio, I think. And I think it's in the back office under While Supplies Last, so you can find it there. And again, it comes with Red Mandarin, Sunny Citrus, and the Kumquat. They're all five milliliter size. So let me find my notes here. So this oil is sourced from um, Brazil and it's really hard to get because it's cold pressed from the peel. And if you think about it, um, it comes from the Fortunella and I don't know if it's Japonica tree or Haponica tree. It resembles a conventional orange, but it's about the size of an olive and you can eat the whole fruit, including the peel. And what's different about it is that the peel is the sweet part and the flesh is the sour part. So it has kind of, you know, reversed uh, flavors, I guess, for want of a, of a better thing um, with citrus oils, right? So depending on the harvesting conditions of this, um, the essential oil then is anywhere from 70% to 90% of limonene, which is like a lot of the citrus oils are, the lemon, the lime, the wild orange. Um, but of its other, it has another 105 known constituents, 46 of them have not been found in any other essential oil, which just means that many of the properties of kumquat are really all its own. There aren't, there, those properties aren't found in any other essential oil. So you can use this oil all three ways. You can use it aromatically, 
in your diffuser, right? A couple of drops in there. You can use it topically. When you use it topically, you can use it neat, but I always recommend that you dilute it with a little bit of a carrier oil. And the carrier oil can be anything from coconut oil to olive oil to almond oil to, you know, whatever you've got laying around your house, so to speak. Um, that just lends, lessens any sensitivity that you might have on your skin, and it helps the absorption also. Fractionated coconut oil is like the number one thing to use with essential oils because it's, it's not greasy, it doesn't leave you all greasy feeling, and it absorbs relatively quickly. So then the other way, you can use this internally also. So you could put a drop in your water to flavor your water, right? Just like any of the other citrus oils, it's going to have all those um, detoxifying and cleansing properties for yourself. Um, going back to the topically, if you do use it topically, you want to make sure that you are not out in direct sunlight because it's a citrus oil, right? So it can be photosensitive. So you want to make sure you're not out in the direct sunlight for um, 12 hours. So if you applied it at night, you'd be fine. You could apply it. Just make sure you've got like long sleeves on, you know, put it on something that's, that clothes are covering. Ah, uh, what else do I have here that I want to talk about? So it has a really sweet, citrus clean and fresh aroma. And it does, it smells super good. A little different than wild orange, a little different than tangerine. More, boy, I don't know. It smells really good. I'm gonna have to try this with my water. I haven't added any to my water yet, but I'm going to. And I have a recipe at the end that I will give you. And I will post that recipe in the comments of the replay. So you can copy it down. So it can, again, because it's a citrus oil, right? You can use it pretty much any way that you're going to use your wild orange or your lemon or your lime, you know, help to remove sticky stickers. And if you're taking and reusing your bottles and want to take the label off and there's that sticky residue, it would help with that. Um... Great to use as a natural food preservative. So if you're cutting your um, apples, right? You're cutting apples and you put a couple of drops of this in water and then um, add your apples in there and let them soak for a little bit. That'll help to, pre to prevent that browning, right, that happens. Probably be pretty good for cleaning your fruit also. You could put your fruit in, in a bowl and add some water and add a couple of drops of this and then kind of swish it around and let it sit for a little bit. That'd get off all the residue of anything that might be on the on the fruit that you've just purchased. So when you are diffusing, it's awesome because it's really like any citrus oil. It's very uplifting to your mood. It's very invigorating to your mind. Um, great to be used as a natural insect repellent. So you could add it along with your uh, Terra Shield, right? Or you could just have your diffuser outside. Like if you sit out on your deck, and you've got your table and you can put your diffuser there instead of a, of a candle and that would help to repel those insects that, you know, just love to bite you. You can add a drop to your facial cleanser, again, because of the cleansing properties, your shampoo or your toothpaste. You could, uh, I lost my place in my notes. Uh, oh, soft scrub recipe. If you don't have a soft scrub recipe, this would be awesome. The one I have, I think we added lemon to, but you could add your, your kumquat to it and it cleans like I have a stainless steel sink and the porcelain sink that's in the bed, all that stuff. It cleans up really, really nice. Make a counter spray with it. You could diffuse to purify the air. That'd be a really nice one. It does internally. So if you take it internally, you can put your drops in water. You can put a couple drops in those little two piece veggie caps, right? And fill it with olive oil and then take it internally. So internally, the benefits then would be um, great to support your cardiovascular, digestive, immune, metabolic. Again, think, you know, like Slim and Sassy. It's great for metabolism and your nervous system. So it's really great to keep those running optimally. I do. So the recipe that I have is, is a kumquat sunrise, which is non-alcoholic, or a kum, kumquat tequila sunrise, which has the alcohol in it. And that has frozen strawberries frozen pineapple. It has three drops of um, kumquat and then it has orange juice and lemonade and then you can add your tequila to taste. So I will post the recipe in the replay of this and I'm going to check and see if um, any comments were no comments. Thanks for the heart mom. And so if you haven't tried this, you should definitely go in the back office. I think the whole kit is like 30 some dollars, $37 or something like that. 
So it's not very expensive and I don't know if it's going to be there always. But um, all three of the oils are really nice. The red mandarin's really nice too. It's good in, good in your water and the sunny citrus just smells super sunny and citrusy. So that is all I have for tonight. We are up to uh, peace. Peace next week, next Wednesday, is what we'll be talking about. Um, yeah, that's an awesome blend. It's one of the emotional aromatherapy blends, and it's one that you really want to have in your arsenal because, you know, we're all emotional beings. So, hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you next Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and we'll be talking about Peace Blend. And like I said, I will post this recipe in the comment. If you have the kumquat oil and you have used it, some other way than we talked about, please share that in the comments so that we can all learn something new. And I hope you guys have a great evening. Bye.